Hey guys, Alien Sama back with another unboxing video, and today we have King Koopa. Yes, as you saw in the unboxing of all three of the amiibos I bought from JList, this guy says Koopa and not the American and European name he is known as Bowser. In Japan, or the creators of the Mario series and this villain himself called him King Koopa, not Bowser. But that's okay. The American versions do say Bowser on it, however. That's probably the only difference between the two. So same thing, just like the Fox one and some of the other amiibos I got from JList.com. They are Japanese, made in Japan, for Japan. So when they show up on my system, they will be Japanese. I'm not sure, though, if I can translate them to English. Hopefully I can still read everything. So this guy's box is a little dented, but that's okay, because we're going to destroy his box. Anyways, I'm going to make all the super hardcore collectors who don't open their amiibos scream as I open this Koopa. I do personally regret opening them all, but once you start it, you can't stop. What's the point of having a bunch of open amiibos and a bunch of not open ones? Oh, so Bowser's got an extra support for his arm in there. I would hope it wouldn't fall off. Let's plop that in there with the Japanese instructions. I cannot read. And have a closer look. Closer look, camera. That means focus. Thank you. Okay. So this Bowser, he's, he's, he's not heavy, but he's definitely a lot more heavy duty than most amiibos that are out so far. Shell has got some weight to it. So they have all the details that King Koopa himself should have. They even have extra details such as shell texturing. If you can see that on there, his entire body is textured with scaling as well. He's got his spikes, or the silver spikes on each of his uh, leather bracelets. Hair is stylized. Mouth, teeth, everything painted to perfection. He even has shading on his belly. As always, the Amiibos have had a lot of time and effort put into designing them and painting them. I hope these aren't painted by hand, but if they are, kudos to the people doing it, because they're doing an excellent job. So just for size comparison, because uh, Koopa is pretty big, not too huge, but here is Fox, which we just opened, next to King Koopa. So the... The amiibo plates are still the same size. They managed to fit him on there despite his size. He's sticking off a bit, but that's okay. So, there's the size comparison. You can see the size comparison in my hand as well. So, this is King Koopa, Japanese Bowser from Japan. Looks great. Awesome. Thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. See you later.